we see quite often in minor league swing flaws the inability to change posture throughout the swing. What we're going to talk about now is called forward staying posture as opposed to changing posture. When we look at the major league example, we're going to notice that a shift in posture allows the hitter to control the speed and timing of the positive move and the weight shift throughout the swing. Let's take a look at how the major leaguers shift their posture. What we first do is draw a line from the eye to the belt buckle at the furthest point back in a hitter's negative move. So at the bottom left we can see that the major league hitter starts his load in a positive posture, a forward posture. That means his head is in front of his belt buckle. When we shift to heel plant for the hitter on the bottom left, what we're going to notice is that his posture changes from forward to backward. At the bottom right, we're going to draw the line and see that the hitter starts in a forward posture and then we're going to move to heel plant and we're going to notice the changing posture. So once again, the shift in posture allows the hitter to control the speed and timing of the positive move and the weight shift throughout the swing. Let's look at some problems that we see in minor league swings. We'll go back to the furthest point in the load or the negative move and we'll draw the line from the eye to the belt buckle and we will see that he correctly is in a forward posture, a forward attacking posture. But when his heel lands, we're going to see that his posture does not change. So this is called forward staying posture. Once again, the hitter at the top right, the minor leaguer, will draw the line. He starts in forward posture, which is correct. But when we move to heel plant, we're going to see that he remains in forward posture. This flaw affects the hitter's ability to generate and transition energy and adjust the speeds of the pitch. It also tends to disconnect the lower body from the upper body.